Welcome back, fourth graders. As you can see, Honey Rose left a gigantic mess before she left on her vacation. I thought that I would straighten up her, her dog mat a little bit before she got back here to Minnesota, but this is ridiculous. She has her dog treats spilling out over here. She has bones left out. She has her tire that's just laying around with her football. Don't even know what that gray thing is. Some sort of rag she must have grabbed from the bathroom or laundry room or somewhere. It's just a mess. It's a disaster. And without Honey Rose being here, I, I guess I'm left to clean it up. I'm not real happy. So I wrote these three sentences after cleaning up that gigantic mess, which I should have known better. Remember what Honey Rose was like when she was baking that cake? She's not the neatest dog around. So I wrote, Honey Rose is a pig. Her mat dog mat was a disaster zone. And my face is burning. I'm so angry. Now, those sentences as harsh as they may be, actually go along with our next figure of speech. Let's go take a look. As you see, we're on to our fourth post-it note, meaning that we have our fourth figure of speech on our figurative language page. And this one isn't too hard to pronounce. It has that PH there for the, the f sound, like an F. Metaphor. Metaphor. Let's all try saying that together on three, metaphor, unmute your mics, and then mute them again. Ready? One, two, three. Metaphor. Now that your mic is muted, just like before, say it out loud with your mic muted. Metaphor, metaphor, metaphor. Like simile that we had the day before, a metaphor is also used to add color or interest, and like we learned yesterday, to help create a picture in our mind, to help us understand what the writer is actually trying to say. As we work on a definition, it says here, a metaphor is a figure of speech that compares two things. These things are different, but they're also alike in at least one way. A metaphor shows what the two things have in common. Hmm, that sounds a lot like a simile. When you compare two things, the difference is similes use the words like or as. A metaphor, it compares two things, but it doesn't use those two words. For your post-it note, the definition will say then, when you compare two things that are alike in at least one way. Maybe pause the video here for a second so you can get this copied into your notebook. It's the fourth post-it note. A metaphor. Notice I left off the words like or as, because that would be a simile. It's just when you compare two things that are alike in at least one way, one characteristic that makes them a metaphor. The three sentences I put down here are metaphors. Notice they don't use the word like or as, but look how easy it would be to turn the sentence into a simile. All I would have to do is add a like or an as. I could say, Honey Rose is as messy as a pig. Much longer sentence, isn't it? Honey Rose is like a pig. She's so messy. That would turn it into a simile. So a metaphor is very close to the same thing as a simile. It just doesn't have the, the like or the as. A lot of times you'll find the word is instead or the word was instead is burning. So metaphors 
and similes are very similar. <laughs> Interesting how those words work out. There's this book called Your Toast and Other Metaphors We Adore. The book Your Toast is also on your Canvas page, but this helps us understand metaphors a little bit more and how they're different than similes. And we'll watch just a little bit together, and then maybe your teacher will have you go on your own and watch the rest, or maybe you as a class will watch the rest. But we'll just watch a short little part of this, and it'll help us more clearly understand, I think, what a metaphor is. Meet Etta. Meet Etta's brother, Corey. Meet the last piece of Grandma Greta's heavenly blueberry pie. It's out of this world. The blueberries are as fat as ping pong balls. Heavenly and out of this world are metaphors. They tell us Grandma's pie is special. Similes also compare two things, but similes use connecting words such as like or as. Metaphors don't. With metaphors, one thing is another. As fat as ping pong balls is a simile. It uses the word as to compare the blueberries to ping pong balls. I skipped ahead to another page in this book that has another metaphor I think you might have heard before. Let's follow along with this one. The next contest is a game of horse. Both kids make some shots and miss some shots. My, this game is a nail biter, Grandma exclaims. Etta's final shot swishes through the net. Corey's shot bounces off the rim. I win, Etta shouts. I'm on a roll now. Some people bite their fingernails when they can't relax. When Grandma calls the game a nail biter, she's excited about the close score. When something is rolling, it's got energy. It's hard to stop. Etta is sure she'll win the next game, too. Well, maybe your teacher will continue in that book on Canvas, or maybe you can look at it on your own. It's got a lot of metaphors, but it also talks about similes. And it even starts to introduce our next figure of speech a little bit, called an idiom. And we'll see that idioms are also like metaphors. But today, as you move on to Canvas for your assignment, there'll be some metaphors and some illustrations that you have to try to match them up with. So you'll go to that Canvas page and do some matching. All right. Good luck then, and we will see you again tomorrow.